In the coming years, Minecraft may have an enormous problem on its hands. There's a new game in town, and it's not a threat to be taken lightly. This could end up being the thing to finally topple the Minecraft empire, but before we address that problem, we must first know how we got here. It all starts with Minecraft's developers. Mojang has always had a few very strict rules when it comes to developing new features for Minecraft. For one, Minecraft's head developer Jeb has made it explicitly clear that poisonous potatoes will never receive a purpose in game. It may seem like a weird quirk, but there are some rules like this that are much more impactful, like Mojang's opinion on adding modded features. Features. Mojang has gone on record saying they want to avoid adding things that have already been done in mods as they don't want to recreate something that has already been done. With a few notable exceptions like pistons and horses, Mojang usually seems to stick to their guns with this rule, denying things like magic staffs, forges, and countless new ores for this reason. There are definitely some flaws in this logic though, as it's estimated that about two-thirds of the player base play the Bedrock edition of Minecraft, meaning they don't have easy access to mods. This, however, isn't even the worst rule Mojang has put on themselves, as they've also stated that there will never be a direct sequel to Minecraft. Rather than a sequel, they'll instead continue to update the game and make spin-offs under the Minecraft name, like Minecraft Earth and Minecraft Dungeons. And this is where Minecraft's future comes into question. It's no secret that Minecraft is going through a bit of a rough patch right now, with its slow trickle of updates and relative lack of attention in the online space at the time of recording. This is made only worse by the fact that a new competitor is lurking right around the corner, and it is a doozy. Anyone familiar with Minecraft minigames likely knows of Minecraft's largest minigame server, Hypixel. Well, after years of dominating the minigame landscape, Hypixel plans to set fire to the game that made them with this next project. Hytale is a block-based sandbox RPG with a procedurally generated world just like Minecraft, but that's not all. It's going to have first-party minigames, a main storyline, and even custom creator tools that allow for the player to build their own games, design custom mobs, or even make fan films all in-game. In other words, it's what Minecraft 2 should have been. Had Mojang been a bit less stubborn. Hytale seems like it could be a legitimate threat to Minecraft, as it seems to have features Minecraft players have been begging for for years on end now. And with the creators of the most popular Minecraft minigame server at the helm, you can be confident the creators know what they're doing. Everywhere I look online, people seem to think that this is the spiritual successor to Minecraft, and from what I'm seeing, I can't help but agree. If Hytale lives up to the hype, it only seems like a matter of time until it's on top. So how can Minecraft prevent this fate? For starters, Minecraft needs to get with the times. Gone are the days when you can release one or two updates a year and expect to maintain a player base. Minecraft is one of the best selling games of all time, and it's owned by Microsoft. They can afford a few employees if it means getting content out faster. Second, these updates that are coming out need to be features that make a meaningful impact to the game. Not decorative blocks, not extremely niche items, not endangered animals for the sake of being preachy. Features should come from a gameplay first perspective. There is a way to get a across a message while making the game fun, but the way it's being done is not it. And lastly, drop the needless restrictions, add features from mods, give poisonous potatoes a purpose, and for the love of god release a sequel. This is the best selling game of all time. The idea to not release a Minecraft sequel is one of the worst business decisions ever made, up there with that guy who sold 10% of Apple for 800 bucks and Blockbuster turning down the purchase of Netflix in 2000. If you want to see more gaming blunders, find out here if Fortnite is ruining gaming, and Mojang, if you use these ideas, I expect a consulting fee, so uh, 